Resting state functional MRI is the hottest new thing in brain imaging. Usually, functional MRI, or fMRI, measures how the brain reacts when we do things, like watch hockey or see the face of a loved one. But resting state MRI is beginning to answer the question, what does the brain look like when we're doing nothing at all? What you're looking at essentially is patterns of spontaneous activity. So traditionally, when you look at functional imaging, you're typically doing uh, some sort of task and comparing uh, uh, brain activation for task A versus task B. With resting state approaches, what you're doing is looking at spontaneous or intrinsic uh, activity in the brain. Dr. Michael Millam has been trying to draw more attention to using resting state fMRI to study the brains of children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. Well, one of the big controversies in the field is how is it that an individual can be scanned at two different occasions uh, in an unconstrained state where there's no control of what they're thinking? How can one expect to get reliable data? Millam and his colleagues are confident that resting state functional imaging can be a powerful tool for studying the disorder further. But only if analytic approaches get more sophisticated. They compiled a library of images and, this year, launched the ADHD 200 competition, aimed in part at using image data to diagnose the disorder. Right now, I, I, you know, there's a lot of enthusiasm about resting state fMRI-based approaches. And there's a lot of excitement, and there's, there's good justification, but there's also a variety of challenges that we have ahead. And after a lot of years of the, the, these phenomenon approaches being you know, neglected by much of the field and carried on by a few, now we're seeing become a broad uh, mainstream approach and really get widespread attention. But it, it's, it, there's really a lot of work ahead.